I mean, I was just painting every day. I, I didn't set out. I didn't set out to do any of this. Sean Daniel Allen, all my friends call me Shao. I'm John Fella from up north, live in Sydney now. We are in China Heights Gallery in Surrey Hills in Sydney. Uh, the exhibition behind me and around me is Distant Familiarity. Yeah, that opened a couple of weeks ago. It's about this one particular river that ran behind my nan's house. So it's kind of this this one connecting river through the coast. So it's Narang Ban, which is Narang River, and it, it winds from out in the hinterland all the way through the coast and, and back out to the seaway. So you know, I spent a lot of my youth. Surfing there, learn how to swim, jumping off the bridges, fishing. Everything was centered around this river without me really knowing at the time either. I decided to just paint this one river continually over and over. So every every single painting in this in this show is the, the initial marks, a, a topographical mark of, of this river going past my nans and out into the seaway. All these paintings started really large. They were cut down into smaller pieces that are all like a smaller piece of a bigger story. I really wanted to paint that particular part too because I feel like everyone when they talk about country is always thinking rural. I never really think about like Country is literally everywhere. It's under our feet right now in, in, in the city, you know? So I, was, I, I just really wanted to hone in onto this one important part of, of a expanding city and what it means, yeah. Initially I started painting just as a, you know, as like a meditative kind of thing and they just morphed into what they are. And I think a lot of that has to do with, with all the conversations I had around it from other mob. At the start, just, I was tattooing full time. Everything I was making was for like a customer. Mentally probably wasn't doing so well for a little bit. And, and this guy that I know, um, Josh, he was talking to me about like meditative painting and just like switching off and just, just letting whatever happens, happens. <clears throat> so I started doing a lot of that. Uh, like focusing a lot on texture and then they started moving them and the shape started coming and I, I think without really knowing it slowly started morphing into what it was um, and then I was just like obviously I was a little confused as to what was happening because I wasn't really I didn't set out to think about how do I make a painting or how do I make it my own or you know look a certain way but yeah, they kind of just landed there and yeah I just knew that they were they were just the rivers that were everywhere around us so I mean I was just painting every day I didn't set out to do any of this like uh, that was kind of nurtured from yeah like from Otis and in front of the gallery and all my friends kind of being like this is a thing yeah like I said it was just a, I was just trying to switch off so lots and lots of time in the studio which is is where I want to be it's not like it's a chore so I'm appreciative of that but yeah like if I you know like the ochre paintings and stuff I'm I'm going home to to collect from certain spots and ask when I'm taking it and making sure I'm allowed to have it listening to country trying to draw inspiration like a lot of especially like a lot of these backgrounds I was which are every word in this in this show I'm just referencing these colors from home I literally can pinpoint exactly the photograph or the time that I saw those colors and I was just like I'm just trying to pay homage to it really like literally all about home I was kind of like introduced to painting with ochres from mob at home and just the different ways that they would mix it and, and make it into paint and you know all the binders and all this kind of things but it's such a strong pigment and it's such a strong color and a reminder of, of home that it like it seems like a necessity to always have it in a show like i think even the process of just like having this this is like this part of home in my hands like they break it up i turn it into a paint like i can feel the grittiness i can feel all the stuff it's yeah, it's um it's very special and then share bits of home as well like someone gets to buy it and i'm like please like touch the texture and like know where it's from and like i'll tell you all about it like I want you to to know those things I'm wanting to expand and I want to like know I always want to know more about home I always want to know more about things I don't know about like not just my mob but other mob so it's definitely things that I think about quite a lot when I'm making work I think about so many languages that are lost and how much time people are putting into like revitalizing especially like language and artwork and song and dance and it's how could you not want to know more about those things and and learn so then you can pass on the bits that you know and, and just keep building on it and bringing it back 100% like it's everything. I'm trying to paint these paintings from from the same kind of point like I just want to feel peace and calm and that's how I'm doing it is in the studio like I really hope people can come and see it and, and feel the same things and hopefully it inspires them to go home and paint or have a conversation or even come and talk to me about stuff like just that connection with everyone, no matter where they're from, is, is definitely something I'm, I'm hoping to get from this body of work.